Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax. So this is the January update. This is basically a rolling project pan that I have going to try to use up my candles and to track my progress. So I have a lot of empties for you guys. I have a few candles that I'm actually going to pull out of the project just because I don't think they're seasonally appropriate anymore um, because Christmas is over with and so I'm going to pull those out. I have one to give you an update on and then I'm introducing four new ones. So I hope that made any sense at all. But let me go ahead and just start with the empties. Okay, the first empty that I have is actually Candy Cane Martini from Homeworks. This one was absolutely wonderful. I used it up um, last month and it looks like I started it in the project last month and it was completely full and then I just used it up totally in a month. So this one was wonderful. Um, notes are Sweet Peppermint, Frozen Vanilla, Candy Cane Swirl, and Vanilla Orchid. I was obsessed with this one and I just totally burned through it really quick. It was perfect for um, December for kind of the Christmas vibes. So I absolutely adored that one. And then in my bedroom, I finished up Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow, one of my absolute favorites of all time, a very kind of gentle scent. I started it off completely full and then now we're down to here. I really just I feel like it is finished, even though there's like a little bit of wax left, it's kind of sooty smelling. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and consider this one empty. It's pretty much already empty anyways, but that is peppermint marshmallow. I also finished off peppermint sugar cookie. You can tell I was really feeling the peppermint vibes last month. So that is this one. It was um, pretty much almost full when I entered it in the project last month. And it's actually, I could burn it a few more times, except one of the wicks drifted right here while it was burning. I've noticed that the, this wax for peppermint sugar cookie is, it's really, really hot. So I think it loosened one of the wick clips and it just drifted a little too close to the glass and I would feel really uncomfortable burning it so close that it might like explode or something, which is not good. So I'm just gonna consider this one empty, but that was peppermint sugar cookie, an amazing, amazing scent. I also finished off hot cocoa and cream. This one was really wonderful. I actually burned it with a um, coffee scent downstairs in my kind of like living room, home office area. So that was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Here's my progress lines. So it looks like it's been in the project, I think since the fall. So one month and then two months. So that is this one finished up, burned really well. And then the last candle that I finished is Deep Dish Apple Pie from Homeworks. This one I actually finished like the first or second week of December. So um, here's the progress lines on this one. And it actually extinguished itself and it burned really well. This one was an amazing, amazing apple pie scent. It's gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust. Really, really love this one. So that is the five candles that I finished off since the last update in December. So I finished off five candles in one month, doing really good on that. Um, I do have two that I'm gonna retire and save for next year. I have the perfect Christmas. I burned it once or twice. Here's my progress from last month to this month. Um, it's just so, so strong. I actually, the few times that I did burn it, it kind of made me a little sick or nauseous. Um, it was just entirely too strong. So this one I'm gonna retire and save for next Christmas and hopefully I'll like it more then, but it was like almost too strong, it made me sick. Um, another one kind of similar is Cuddle Weather. Um, this one is like a gingerbread tea scent. It's warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and cozy blanket. It's also like so strong gingerbread that it also kind of makes me sick. So I have a tiny bit of progress. I think I burned it once and I didn't like it. So we're gonna retire that one till next Christmas. So pulling out two, and then I actually only have one to update you on from the last project. There's only one still in the project. Um, and that is Marshmallow Fireside, a wonderful scent. I'm just kind of working through this one slowly. So here's progress from a month and then from this last month. So we are right here. And I definitely plan on having this finished up in the next month. It'll be one of my focus ones for downstairs in like the living room slash dining room. So that's Marshmallow Fireside. And then I'm gonna intro in a few new candles. So the first one is Strawberry Pound Cake. This one is from last year's or um, 20... 21 candle day yeah 
2021 um, candle day in December. And I did burn it a few times already actually, so we're down to here, but I really was craving strawberry pound cake or any kind of like fruity scent around New Year's. So I started burning this one and I really, really enjoyed it. So I pulled out strawberry pound cake to start burning and I expect I'll probably have it done in the next month because I'm really loving it. I'm putting in a random one from Goose Creek, but I did do an order in like late November, early December. And I did pick up this chocolate drizzled popcorn, which is like a really exciting scent. Um, I think the few times I've burned it, it does kind of smell a little funky. I can't quite grasp what it smells like, but it does smell like chocolate popcorn. It's just like kind of odd. So I don't know, I'm gonna try this one and see how it goes, but we are right here. I burned it a few times, um, but not a lot. So that is chocolate drizzled popcorn. And then I'm gonna put in a few that I got at Candle Day. So I did pick up a wine cellar. This one I'm really excited to burn and see how I like it. Um, so it's completely unburned. I haven't even trimmed the wicks yet. The notes are mulled apples, fresh fig, and cedarwood. I feel like this is a really nice kind of like transition into spring because it's got a little bit of like that cedarwood I feel like is like the perfect scent right now because it is still a little cold but not like freezing anymore in Texas. And I don't know, I just feel like it's, it's nice. I don't know, I'm just really excited to try this one and see how I like it or if I like it. So that is wine cellar. And then the last one that I'm putting in is gonna be in my bedroom and that is in the stars. I also picked this one up at Candle Day in 2022. I'm excited to try this one cause I've never tried it. It's bergamot champagne, night blooming water lily and pink salted amber. I have a feeling I'll really love it in the bedroom but it's just a warm bubbly champagne body care scent. So I think it'll be nice. It is unused. I haven't even trimmed the wicks yet. Really excited to see how this performs in the bedroom. It might be too strong, so I might have to bring it downstairs, but we'll just try it out and see how it goes. But that's leaving me with only like five candles in the project, which I think is a little more realistic. Um, Cause at times, like I wasn't feeling all the candles that I put in my project. So we'll just see, but I'm definitely gonna get through strawberry pound cake and marshmallow fireside. And then I will work on the other three as I get a chance. So that is my January project wax. You guys will have to let me know down below. Are you still working on your Christmas candles or are you like totally over Christmas and you'll just save them for next year? Cause I kind of contemplated whether or not I wanted to just go ahead and finish them off. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to save them for next year because in 2022, I definitely worked on finishing all my Christmas candles in January and February, and I got kind of sick of them. So I don't want to do that again this year. And also in 2022, when it came time for Christmas, I didn't have any candles to burn. I had like one that I had bought, which was under the Christmas tree. Um, so I kind of want to leave myself with a few candles ready to go when Christmas time comes around. So that's my plan for 2023. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.